What do you have there? They're plastic bags and yeah. illegal. And the man hunting them down is okay. South Sudan's eco warrior. You are, you are under arrest. You are under arrest. You are the one I'm looking for. Thank Niall you. Majak is on a one man crusade against plastics, determined to stamp them out and get them off the streets of the capital, Juba. It's not awfully popular. She hands over the black plastic bags as others are being rounded up and arrested. My husband died. Someone killed him. He's working a communication man. I have two children. Two children. Widow or not, mother or not, she too is going to be arrested. But it'll mean losing a day's takings, and she's distraught. Life is tough here, and plastics just not seen as an important issue. So she's given a second chance, but without the plastic bags her business relies on. When we met Niall, he was in charge of cleaning up the capital of the world's youngest nation. There's a tenuous ceasefire between fighting factions, so armed guards come with the territory. All the plastic bag contraband is seized and locked up in secure units. Whoa, OK, that's another big pile. But it's a mammoth task, and the South Sudanese authorities are up against organized gangs making huge amounts of money smuggling in bags from other countries. These lockers are emptied every few days. But South Sudan has a mountain of challenges. Maintaining a fragile peace with warring militia and dealing with endemic corruption are just two. Yet this group, led by Nile, is determined to do its bit although their way of disposing of the bags is likely to cause much consternation amongst environmentalists. Burning plastic releases dangerous toxins into the atmosphere. That is literally millions of dollars just going up in flames, but they haven't come anywhere near to smashing any of the smuggling networks. And the dependence they have on plastics here doesn't look likely to end anytime soon. Alex Crawford, Sky News, South Sudan.